Greetings. Today we're going to use the NWCCD Library Catalog to find books and DVDs in the Gillette College Library and also how to borrow books, DVDs, and other items from libraries all over Wyoming. We need to start with the library homepage. One of the quickest ways to get there is sign into your My NWCCD account and you'll see the library icon. Click on it and you'll be right on the library homepage. Another really fast way to access the homepage is the URL that's up on your screen, www.sheridan.edu backslash library. You may even want to bookmark this. Again, it will take you directly to the homepage. You're on the library homepage. The quickest, easiest way to find a book or a DVD is use the Books Gillette tab. Summon on the left-hand side is an excellent tool. You'll see those giant empty search boxes. It searches many library databases simultaneously. It's an excellent tool, but honestly, for finding a book, you're going to have much better luck starting with the Books Gillette tab. We're on the library homepage and you'll see some of the new materials going by. We have books and DVDs for classes. We also have books to read for fun and also a really large DVD collection. You can see right up here on the left hand side I'm searching Gillette College. You can select different fields. You can search by author, title, subject. Most of the time, I would just search all fields and type in what you're looking for. Enter what you're looking for in the search box. For this example, I'm searching for genetically modified food and then just select the search button. In this case, I have, you can see, 17 results, and I can look at them just like they come up. You can also sort. Sometimes it helps to sort by publication date descending. That will give me the newest publication dates will come up to the top of my screen. You don't have to do that, but sometimes it's helpful. So this one has a publication date, you can see that right here, 2018, so fairly new. I can find a lot of helpful information on this very first screen. First of all, the call number, that's how I would locate it on the shelf. You could write it down or try text this to me. It will send a text to your cell phone with the call number, which is pretty handy. We're always happy to help you find the book on the shelf. Just show us the call number, show us your cell phone, and we're always happy to help you use the catalog. We're all about trying to save you time. So before we go looking for the book, let's open up the title and see what we can find while we're just sitting here. Okay, if we look down here, oh, it looks like there's a summary. So I can take a quick look and find out some information about what the book's about. Another thing that might be helpful is checking out the table of contents. What's in there? Okay, I want to find out about organics. So this looks kind of interesting. And also our genetically engineered food safe to eat. That definitely sounds interesting to me. So we can find a few things out by not even moving. I can also look at the left hand side of my screen where it says limit search results and I can do some helpful limiting here. For example, under format, I've got books, video discs, electronic resources. If you just want to look at the books that are available, you can check right here and do include. Oh wow, it looks like there's three video discs. If I just want to look at those, notice I selected that, and I can do include. And now I have a list of three available DVDs. If you want to get rid of your limiting, you can just deselect it and you're back to your search. We found quite a bit of information on genetically modified food here at the Gillette College Library, but you may come up with a subject that we don't have 
information on, or maybe you just want to find some more sources. Borrowing from other libraries is free to you. It's really easy. You open up the menu right here. Remember before we were searching Gillette College? It makes sense to check Campbell County. They're right down the street from us. You can get the book or the DVD very quickly. So I'm just going to flip this to Campbell County and search. This first one looks pretty interesting. The important thing to check though is let's make sure we can't get it at Gillette College. Right here under available it says no copies available at Gillette College. Here's an example of one King Corn, You Are What You Eat. If we look down here under available it says available one and we can see that it's available at both Gillette College and Campbell County. So you may as well just head down to the Gillette College Library and you can pick it up right away. So it's important to check under available. Okay, so we're back on the first title we were looking at and we've decided we want it. We can't get it at Gillette College. So the next step is we could go to Campbell County. We do have a call number right here. Uh, we could text it to ourselves, we could write it down. Um, you can head over to Campbell County and they will help you find it on the shelf if you need help. We also have a couple of other options. Open up the title and what you can do is do a place hold. Just click that button right there. So you've got the screen that opens up and you're going to enter your library card number. Your library card number is located on the back of the card or on the little keychain card. You can see it right down there at the bottom, 29098. Even though it looks like there's spaces, just type the number in straight out. If you don't have a library card, stop into the library and pick one up. I typed in my library card without spaces. Next I'm going to enter my PIN. And everyone's PIN currently is WYL. D and it's not case sensitive. So you can use all lowercase, you can use uppercase, you can also go in and change your pin if you would like to do that. So you enter your pin and select login. Finally you have the option to select which library you would like to pick your item up from. Right here under pickup library. If you select Gillette College Library, we will pick the book up from the public library for you. And after we've picked it up, we'll just give you a call and you can stop in and pick it up from us. If you would rather go to Campbell County Public Library, you can select that and then go to the library and pick it up yourself. The right branch is located 30 miles away, so you won't want to make that selection. And then when you're done selecting your pickup library, simply click the place hold button. You can also search other groups of libraries. We did Campbell County. You can search all of the community college libraries. And you can search almost all the libraries in Wyoming under All Wild Libraries. Let's try that. So we switched it to All Wild Libraries and we're going to go ahead and search. Before doing an interlibrary loan, borrowing an item from another library, you always want to check out available and make sure that it is not available at Gillette College. So this first one says no copies available. The second one under available you'll see one, so that means I could just go to Gillette College Library and get the book. On this very first one, you can see that another library has the book. And borrowing it is really easy. You really already know how from borrowing from Campbell County. It's basically the same process. Open your title, select place hold, enter your library card number and your PIN, which is WYLD. Under Pickup Library, select Gillette College Library and place hold. When you're finished with your item, simply bring it back and we will take care of getting it back to Campbell County for you or mailing it back to whatever library you've borrowed it from. 
If you're still not finding what you need, we can also borrow from the University of Wyoming. I'm going to go ahead and select the Home button right here. And you'll see a link on the right-hand side to the UW Libraries. I can open that up and it will take me to their catalog. We do need to do those interlibrary loans for you. They're also free, but they're not part of our same system. So stop into the library and we'll be happy to also borrow from the University of Wyoming for you. Thanks for watching. You'll notice I'm back on the library homepage, contact information over on the right hand side, our phone number. We'd also love it if you stop in. We're happy to help you learn how to do any of the databases, walk you through the catalog, help you with interlibrary loans. Hope to see you.